What's up, you guys? What's up, divas? What's up, divos? What's up? What's up? So, look, I got to do another curly textured hair wig video, okay? I can't believe if I worked with this company before. I think I did. I look, I'm I don't I don't remember, okay? I don't remember. But what's up, divas? What's up, divos? What's up, Charles? Yes, you too are part of this community. Anyway, I don't remember if I worked with this company before. I want to say that I did, but I, I can't remember. I can't be remembering, okay? But this is so funny because I just finished doing a wig that looks so much like this one right here. And um, here I am at it again, you know? But this time is something different with this one. I didn't um, bleach the knots. I didn't pre-pluck it. I mean, I did pre-pluck it like a, on two pieces, whatever. And I didn't get to co-wash it, okay? Because I've had it for a minute. I've had it for a minute. And I'm like, you know what, girl? Just do the wig. Just do the video. But I didn't think I needed to because the hair was so soft. Nice and soft. The color was pretty, you know. Yes, I do have my water and conditioner spritz bottle right here that I will be using. But I just wanted to see how this would perform without me having to do too much. So it is by a company called Curls Curls. Okay, Curls Curls. So I got like this really nice Swiss tinted lace, okay? And um, yeah, I didn't think I'm, I'm thinking like I would be all right with it. Okay. I just felt like I'm gonna be okay. We're gonna do this and it's gonna work out. So meanwhile, in between, I'm gonna make sure I have enough water in here. I'm gonna give me a little towel and then I'll show you guys how your wig comes from Curls Curls while I do that, you know? And then we'll get into this video, okay? I'm not gonna be there for you oh, Cause you will never there for me mm, Don't go ask me what you hear mm, Ignorance will not be seen No, was it never for me? Why don't you just let it be? I gave you one, two, and three Time's not wasting my good Cause you're not on your knees mm. What's in it for me? So here we go. I'm going to be checking the size of this wig. As you see here, I'm just going to check and see how it fits over my ear. And as you see, the lace is definitely overlapping my ear. So I'm going to just go ahead and clip it up. I did make a part where I want to cut off that extra part of lace. This will help your wig lay flatter, which will also allow it to look more natural. And I'm going to do that on the same. I'm going to do that same thing on the opposite side. Clip it up. Make sure you have some good hair tools when you are doing an install in your lace wig. That's really important. Right here, I'm just cutting the lace. That's not, you know. But you see, I'm going to cut directly above my ear. That way your wig will be 
quite comfortable. It'll lay flush to your head and it will look so, so natural. Scissors that I'm using are called thread snips and I love to cut the lace with them on all of my wigs as you see I'm doing right here. You can get them on Amazon, just look up thread snips. I wouldn't suggest spending a whole lot. These were about four or five bucks and they're pretty darn sharp. Go ahead and repeat that lace cutting on the opposite side. And now I'm gonna go ahead and make my part on the side so that way I can have me some sideburns. Y'all know I love me some sideburns, okay? Now this step is optional, but I'm pretty sure you ladies love a good set of sideburns. It just gives a whole entire look, a more natural look, and it brings everything together. And sometimes I will, you know, opt for a little piece of a baby hair in the front. That way my head don't look so long. I did not wash the wig in this clip right here. Girls, one week later, I did decide to redo the styling of the wig because as I was looking at the video footage, I realized, April, you did not do a really good job with styling that wig. It looks really ugly. So I decided to come back and restyle it. And I must say, I did a whole lot better job this time around with it. Plus my makeup look a lot better too, okay. So the She Glam thing that I just showed you was actually this right here, which is the blow dryer. It's a four in one blow dryer. You get four different tools on it. I loves it. It is available on Amazon. I love it, I love it. And I'm just gonna take my hairspray, which is by Bedhead, and just, you know, spray a little bit into that part that I created. And I will use my blow dryer to blow it dry. I'm also gonna use the rat tail comb to press into the lace so that way I can adhere it. This hair is very full and curly, 3B to 4A C tech, 3B to 4A texture, curly texture. Very, very curly, you guys. If you love this type of textured hair, then I would suggest checking out Curls, Curls. You know, they have a lot of uh, wigs on their websites and a lot of them are geared to natural textures. Now you guys already know my favorite uh, styling mousse, which is from the Dollar Tree. And that is the Salon Selectives Girls, one of my favorites. And my elastic band, which I've created myself, which was just sewing an elastic band, you know, together. But I do believe that this wig came out really nice the second go around, so I'm so glad that I did decide to redo it. And in this bottle is some leave-in conditioner, a lot of leave-in conditioner with water. I would never use just plain water because it'll dry the curls and, or the hair out. So I put in leave-in conditioner. You can also use regular conditioner, either one. Don't spray your wig with just plain water because it will definitely dry it out. And just to shape the wig a little bit, I decided to cut some of these curls. I don't like uneven curls just dangling like that. It drives me insane. But for the most part, yeah, I, I'm so glad that I did it over. It's very big hair, a lot of hair for all you naturalistas, natural sisters who love this type of hair textures, then girl, this might be the one for you. I'm not the best at taming these type of wigs or just curling them because I'm just not, I will admit to that, but it still came out decent. And because the hair is so big and full, you don't need a lot of, you know, baby hairs or anything like that because girl, it's nice and full hair. It looks very natural and very realistic. I wish my hair was like this though. Girl, if, I, if it was, I would tell everybody to kiss my you know what. Like seriously, if I had hair like this, I would be, ooh, child, girl. Nice full hair. But look at that. It came out nice. The curls are soft. Look much better from when I first did the video. Curls look so much better. Very pretty. Very, very pretty hair. And because I don't like the hair swooping over my eyes, girl, I can't see as it is. I decided to give me like a little swoopity slanted type bang. You know, in this unit, you can also give you a bang and cut it in the front or bring it towards the front. So... That's what I did here, just use my thread snips. I wasn't worried about the evenness of it because it's curly hair, and you know it's gonna curl up anyway, so it doesn't have to be straight, blunt cut, but I think I did a damn good job, okay? 
use some of that curly um, water, curly water, some of that um, conditioner water there. And also I use some of that activation curl spray too. Girl, I was trying to make sure this wig was hooked up, okay? Now if you wanna wear it just with a regular bang in front, it will look cute like that. But I decided to just keep it to the side. Let's get it done. Let's get this done, honeys. Listen, second time I had to, y'all you know that because I had two different looks, two different color nails. I had this wig for a minute, you guys. And then when I when I was ready to edit the video, I was like, ew, April, why did you do that? Why didn't you just go wash the wig, make it look different? Like, ew, April, you did not, you was just plain old lazy today, lazy. So I washed the wig. I did not bleach it. I didn't bleach it. But you know, I had to take it a different notch, a different setting, a different step. I had to like cut a little type of bang thing in here because the hair kept going up in my eye, which was giving me the long droopy eye look because it was like crushing my lashes. And I didn't like that. And I don't really like the hair when it falls directly into my eye. Like that's not a good sign for me. Like I know that what that happens, that I'm gonna be bumping into stuff and all type of things and I'm gonna be irritated. When I get irritated, then I get mad. And then, like, nobody don't want to see me like that. So I just was like, let me just cut a little bit of bangy bang into this. So curls, curls, hunties, they um seem like they are just catered to nothing but this type of hair. Okay. You can got, you, you guys go and check it out for yourselves and let me know what y'all think of, of it. But, you know, for the most part, this is a lot of hair for me. I'm not really that great with these type of textured wigs i'd be trying so hard to just like you know style them but you know i'm not so great with this type of texture here and i should be shameful of myself but you know we're not great at everything in the world like listen i'd be trying okay what is y'all thoughts on this type of textured wigs like i i, I want to know i'd be interested in knowing okay i'd just be interested in knowing you guys it is what it is i mean i tried and i and I hope that I conquered or succeeded either one, you know. But, yeah, I love you guys. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs the video up, all that good stuff. And I will see y'all in the next one.